Welcome to Seth Craft. Recently, I was using my 3D printers to put a circle way up on a print. So you can see uh, this is about eight inches up off of the build plate, and it was making all these supports that just seemed so unnecessary. And so I figured out how to make a circle without having to have supports. Basically, you make a teardrop shape, and that will allow your printer to print up that angle and not have to have supports on the top of the circle. So I'd like us to hop over here into Fusion 360 and I will show you the difference between uh, printing with that teardrop shape versus without for circles that are going to be uh, printed up high on an object like this. So. Let's hop over to the computer real quick and I will show you what I have found. I'm a beginner with Fusion 360. There's probably a dozen ways to do what I'm gonna show you, but this way seems to work for me. So let's jump into it. I have a fresh copy of Fusion 360. I'm gonna to go to the top view real quick. Go down here to create a box and just click this plane. And let's go out, uh, let's say 15 millimeters and then go up about um, 10 should be fine. Okay, now as far as the height goes, let's do something like two. Doesn't have to be anything special. All right, and now let's go to the front view. And what I wanna do is make a box again. So I'm gonna go to a box, click uh, this right here, and let's go over, honestly, I think, uh, let's do six mils, should be fine. And let's go up six as well, okay. That should be good. Now as far as the depth here, uh, let's do something like four millimeters, should be fine. Now I'm not gonna join this just yet because I want to copy it in a second. All right, once again, let's go to the front view and I'm gonna click the create hole button up here. Click on this surface, I can drag that to the middle and let's do this one right here, I think it should work out fine. Um, so as far as the depth goes, let's do uh, four, which will go all the way through. Here can also be four. Um, this right here, let's go ahead and do uh, 3.5, I believe. And then is this one down here, 3.5 as well should be fine. So let's push OK to that. Now if we look at this hole, it basically has a hole with a little back piece on it. Why? I don't know, just because. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, actually uh, copy this. So I'm gonna go here to bodies, body two, and then do a move with copy and just bring this over here to the other end. So just like that. Okay, now, uh, so if we were to print this right now, it would probably complain at us because this surface up here on the top doesn't have any support. And we're hoping to actually see that here in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do is zoom in to our second circle and uh, go ahead and click the create sketch, click on this surface. And then what I'm gonna do is just draw a line from the center point up to somewhere, no man's land. All right, and I'm gonna close that off. Now, if I grab the line again, let's click somewhere over here where we feel like it would be about a 45 degree. So let's click about right here and go over to this one. Go up 45 degrees. Oops. There we go. And then uh, finish that line out. All right, nice. Okay, let's finish this sketch. And so now you can see I've made a little triangle right here. So let me go ahead and click in all of those and simply do an extrude. And I'm gonna just extrude that all the way through. Uh, let's just do like four millimeters, whoops, negative four. And that goes all the way through. And basically I'm just cutting out that little teardrop shape there. So as you can see, one full circle, one teardrop. Now, of course, there's all kinds of stuff you could improve back here, but we're not worried about that right now. All right, well, that's the basic thing that we want to print out to test with our, um, our printers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, um, combine these. So they're all one unit. 
Okay, and now what I can do is select this body, right click, go to save as mesh, make sure this is set to high, push OK, and then save that. I've imported the part into my slicer program. Let's go ahead and uh, do a slice without any supports. So you can see here that uh, it's gonna want to have those supports on this side, and this side is fine. It just has that it's got that uh, step up right there. So let's go ahead and uh, go back out of here and click on support and see what it would want to do with a tree here if it's gonna try to put it over here. Yep, so see, uh, in order to get the proper print, you're gonna have to install a tree support versus the one with the teardrop over here that does not need that. So let's do uh, two things real quick. What I want to do is copy this and let's just move this over to the side I'm gonna set this to have supports. However, I'm going to paint in here that we don't want any supports on this one. So the other one should have the uh, supports on it. Let's go ahead and give it a try here and see. All right, yep, so no support, no support, and this will have tree support over here. All right, let's go ahead and print this out and uh, see how well it does here. Okay, I should have tested that beforehand because this example is so tiny. Um, but I did print out something else that's a bit bigger to uh, give you a better example here. So let me zoom way in and we'll take a look at the results of that print. Okay, so this is the one that I printed separate to show you uh, how well it does without any kind of supports. If we zoom into this one and then, let's see, well, broke off one of the trees there, but uh, Okay, so let's take a look at these up really close. So it looks like the one that has the teardrop on both sides came out to be nice and smooth. The other side actually looks like it's been collapsed there on the top of the circle, uh, regardless to whether it had the tree support or not. So I'm actually liking that teardrop circle better than, uh, than the uh, regular. Now, of course, this is if you have to put in, say, a magnet into that hole. Uh, if you need a perfect circle, uh, I mean, if, for example, in this instance, you would have just printed it, you know, like that would have done the trick. But um, yeah, if you need a perfect circle, you may have to play around with it a bit more. Um, but anyway, there's the other example that I printed out, and you can see it is perfect without any kind of supports. Okay, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was uh, using that teardrop shape to print something way up high. And so that whole thing right there requires no supports for these holes. Otherwise, I had to either use the uh, flat uh, normal supports or the trees that would come way out. And uh, it was wasting a lot of filament, but also getting stuck up in these holes and it's hard to clip that out. So um, it was just a great solution to make that teardrop shape and not have to use those supports at all. Okay, short and sweet video on how to do uh, circles without supports. Hope you found the video helpful. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Channel, and I will see you in the next video.